Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain Library Explorer in Automation Studio, how to open libraries and how to create a new custom library. So, let's open Automation Studio. The Library Explorer can be opened with the following command, Home Components and Library Explorer, or by pressing F9 function key. You can hide and show it by clicking on Library Explorer. What is Library Explorer? The Library Explorer contains the main Automation Studio libraries and is used to manage custom libraries. The main library contains all the generic component symbols for hydraulics, pneumatics, electrical controls, and more. Library Explorer has three sections. Tree View Zone symbol area and toolbar. The library is arranged in a tree view, which can be navigated by opening and by selecting branches. The available component symbols in the currently selected branch appear below the tree view. The standards available for the selected component are shown below the symbols. A component can be inserted into a compatible document by simply dragging it onto the page. Toolbar contains of the following buttons. New Library. It creates a new custom library that can be modified. Open Custom Library. It opens a custom library that is already saved. Save Library. It saves the selected custom library. Close Library. For closes the selected library. Export Library. New Category to create a category of components in a custom library. Delete category, deletes a category of components in the custom library. Locked, unlocked library, locks and unlocks a library which may be password protected. This option is used to prevent a library from being accidentally deleted. By clicking on this icon to open a custom library, the browser opens a window where a custom library can be selected from already saved libraries. And we can keep open more than one library at a time. Let's explain how to create new library. When you are making a project in which you have to use symbols from many different libraries or categories, it's difficult and taking more time to switch between different libraries repeatedly. In this case make a custom library and add only the symbols that you have required. Let's create a new library. Click on New Library, give a name to Library and click on Save. Collect all the symbols that you have required. Create categories and subcategories. Drag and drop the symbols in the symbol area one by one. Your custom library is ready to use. You can share this library to your friends also. I hope this tutorial will be useful for you. Thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos. Like and share it also. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Goodbye.